finals day at the Vet Victor shootout is one of the most dramatic of the entire snooker year, and this was no exception. By the time we reached the quarterfinals, nerves were frayed. First up, recent European Masters runner-up, Zhu Yulong, top of Vetra fellow countryman, Mei Ji Wen. Then, in an all-English affair, Michael Holt prevailed in a low-scoring contest against Ben Wollaston. Former shootout champion Anthony McGill was shot down by China's Liu Haoshan. That red from distance did the trick for the overjoyed youngster. And the last four lineup was completed when this season's Riga Masters champion, 20 year old Yan Bing Tao, appointed veteran campaigner Anthony Hamilton. Immediately in the opening semi final, Holt was off and running, initiating scoring with a priceless break of 46, knocking in several vital pots. And last year's beaten finalist nursed that lead, returning to the title match at the expense of Yan Bing Tao. With the clock ticking down fast and the balls awkwardly situated, there was simply no way back. Holt, the first player to grace consecutive shootout finals. In the other semi-final, Zhu Yulong followed Holt's example by keeping his calm. And with a crucial break of 40, this former World Cup winner progressed. His compatriot Liu Haoshan unable to stem the tide. So Zhu threw to fight for the £50,000 first prize. ZY, A-OK. -okay. Less than a minute into the final, though, Holt struck. In fact, that red was perfectly struck and launched the run of 42 that placed him squarely in the driver's seat. And when Holt potted this pink to leave Zhu requiring snookers, nay, a miracle, it was time to shake hands. For Michael, mission accomplished. Power of perseverance brought an emotional and very popular triumph. Holt collected his largest career payday and never again can be described as one of the best players still waiting to capture a world ranking title. That monkey well and truly thrown off his back at the Bed Victor snooker shootout where the hitman was kissed by success.